This holiday season, Capital Metro needs your help. That's right. They're working to stuff the bus in hopes of feeding thousands of Central Texas families. Our Candy Rodriguez joins us live this morning from Whole Foods right in downtown Austin to show us what they need during the food drive. Good morning, Candy. Amanda and Sally, good morning. We have a whole bunch of items that the food drive needs this weekend happening all weekend long. Stuff the Bus will be here at Whole Foods, both in downtown and at the Domain and across others. You can come on out and stuff the bus with a bunch of items. And joining us live this morning is Tara Treffery with Whole Foods to tell us a little bit more about it. And Tara, tell me what people usually come and get and, and how can they participate in this? Yeah, there's some really key items that are so important uh, in this drive that really help provide more nutritious, uh, high protein, and then also, um, you know, those shelf-stable items that can, can hold for a while so people don't have to use them right away. So selecting items like pinto beans, whole grain cereals, peanut butter, canned tuna or chicken, uh, long grain brown rice, uh, and canned vegetables are really an incredible way to support uh, the Stuff the Bus campaign um, and the food bank here in Austin. So we have those all available and of course also our cashiers uh, will happily take a donation if that's a little bit easier for you and those that do, those dollars will go directly to supporting the food bank. Yeah, and they'll take a monetary donation through December 11th on Tuesday. So if you, uh, if you can't come out during the weekend and brave that weather, that's fine. They will take money through Tuesday. And joining us live also this morning is Amelia Long with Central Texas Food Bank. And Amelia, tell me, obviously a lot of these items are very useful, but is there a certain item that you guys always see at the end of these food drives that you're like, we could have used a little bit more of that? We can always use these most needed items, the dry beans, the dry rice, the shelf-stable proteins are really important, um, all the fruits and veggies that are going to be shelf-stable in the cans, the fruits that you're looking for are the ones that are in their own juice, so not in heavy syrup, so they're a little bit healthier, and the veggies that you're looking for are going to be the low-sodium veggies in the cans. Um, and of course, if you, you know, can't pick up any food, if you're just press for time, you can make a donation at the register and every dollar equals four meals. So it's an incredible impact. It's really helping people who are hungry this holiday season and all year round and we appreciate it so much. Wow, and last year they collected enough for 100,000 meals and this year they're hoping to not only reach that goal, but to surpass that. We have more details on KXAN.com. Back to you. 100,000 meals, wow. that's amazing. It's really easy to do too uh -huh. because you can run in the grocery store, mm -hmm. pick up what you need, pick up a few other things. And just hand it right over. Yeah, and it's walk only out. 25 cents for a meal. It's incredible. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. over at Whole Foods. And then if you go to HEB, we also are sponsoring Ring and a Miracle, which you can mm -hmm. pick the you know one, three, five dollar tab, yeah. and then also goes to the Salvation Army as well. Good. Lots of ways to help. Lots mm -hmm. of ways.